everyone, it's Melissa. I'm here today to teach you how to play Oh Yeah on the radio by Roxy Music or Brian Ferry and the Roxy Music. Um, and Roxy Music, I can't remember what he says, but anyway, it's that. Um, we're going to use the chords G, C, D, F, and D minor. So this is not super difficult, but you know, you definitely should have the ability to play those uh, chords and be able to transition in between them. Um, the strum pattern is... Uh, Maybe not completely typical, but not terrible either. Um, so it's going to be a, we're going to start with a G. It's going to be a down, 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 up. Okay? And that will serve us for most of the song. And there will be a few different places where I'm going to point out where we're going to change it slightly. So, um, <clears throat> we'll start with the verse. It's a G to C, G to C for the first two lines. Then I'm going to show you on the third line when it changes. All right, so. Okay, we're gonna go a little slower so you can follow along with me. Down, 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 up, C. Down, 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 up, G. Down, 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 up, C. Down, 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 up. All right, and then let's sing the verse. Some expression in your eyes. pre-chorus, um, which is going to be an F to D minor, and then we're going to get to this G, and that's when our strum pattern is going to change. So our F and D minor are the same. So how can we drive? And then we go to the G, and we're going to do two down strums. Then we're going to plop our pinky down onto the A string for a G add four, um, and we'll do an up, up, down. Then we're going to lift up that pinky, and we're going to hit another I'm going to say a down strum or two down strums, depending on how fast you play them. So you'll kind of see what feels most comfortable to you. Um, I kind of seem to do both, <laughs> depending on how I feel. So we'll see what the timing is, see if that works out for you. So um, let's start from the beginning of that line. So we're doing... Um, how can we drown? time G down down G at four up up down G down either one or two all right um <clears throat> depends on whether or not you like a little rest in between anyway so full line let's do it again we're gonna do the second line uh when the music is here where we're going to go back to that same strum pattern we started with, the down, 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 up. Okay. There's a band playing on the radio. Now we're going to add that G, G at four weird thing that we're doing. So down with the rhythm of time and guitars. They're playing oh yeah, on the radio. last chord of the chorus, we're actually going to do a down, down, up, up, down strum. So, and then we're going to go, down, down, up, down. Okay, and then we go back into the verse, back into the pre-chorus, back into the chorus. Um, there is an instrumental verse where um, I've noted it on the PDF tab that you can download for free in the description box, and it is just the verse chords, um, you know, just the way you would play the first verse without singing. So you can choose to keep that or not if you're playing by yourself. Um, let's note just the outro at the very end. So at the very end, the chorus is a little bit longer than it typically is. Um, instead of being a typical like four lines, it's six. And then he adds the O's forever. So um, let's just play through that whole chorus. And then I'll note where we're going to switch it a little bit. So there's a band.
I stopped that after four lines, but I have it written as a little bit longer because that's how long it is when he sings it. He kind of just fades out with it. But if, like I said, you're playing by yourself, you might want to just cut it a little short because otherwise it can be a little long to listen to for your audience. Um, but all you're doing is you're doing a down, down, up, up, down strum for those chords. Um, so you're just, you know, oh, oh, oh. started singing kind of over in the middle of that strum pattern I was concentrating on getting that down down up up down and I didn't come in quite right but that's how you would sing it um let me know if you have any questions I uh, I know a while back people have requested uh, music over the last six months or so and I've been keeping a running list um I didn't get to it because honestly I was burnt out and took a break um but I'm going to try and get back to that so if you've requested something in the past please don't be mad at me I will try and get it up there for you soon and um if there's anything you're dying to learn that you cannot find on the interwebs or YouTube or can't find a good tutorial of please let me know I'm happy to help okay that's it um I announced in my last video that I've started a Patreon uh, channel or page, whatever they're called, um, <laughs> where there will be more in-depth videos. Um, so if you're somebody like maybe you're a beginner and you just need just very basic help to get started by yourself, um, and let like private lessons or in-person lessons are an option for you, that's who that's going to be for. I'm going to have a whole module of, of how to get started. Um, there will also be more advanced playing stuff, so like how to um, work on how to how to improvise, how to get started with that. Um, as well as some other things that I've got going on around. I've taught a lot of workshops over the years and I'm basically my idea is I'm going to make a lot of modules um, based on those workshops that you will be able to access by being a paid member of my Patreon community. Okay, that's it. Um, so good to see you guys. Bye. <clears throat>